Hi guys and welcome back to Royal Courses. In today's lesson we're going to be going down through the basics of After Effects. We're going to be animating the animation you saw earlier in this video. So to start off, when you first open up After Effects you'll have this default workspace. To change your workspace you go to Window, Workspace and choose the one you want. We're going to be using the standard workspace and now this is a modified standard workspace and to add things or exclude things that you want to use in your project you go to window and you check everything that you need to use so to start a new project you have to go to new composition if you already have some footage that you want to add effects to you go to new composition from footage but because we're animating something and starting from scratch we're going to go to new composition in the composition settings window, we can change the name of our composition. So let's go intro animation. We can change the width, the height of it, the frame rate it goes in, the resolution of it, the time code of it, and the duration of it. We can also change the background color. So this is all okay, let's press okay. Great. Now, this is your preview panel. Everything that you'll be doing will be shown in this panel right here. This is your project panel. In the project panel, you'll be importing files that you'll be using throughout your project. And this is the timeline. In the timeline, you import things from the project panel into the timeline and place it in the order of significance and in order of appearance. So let's first import our first file. We're going to be importing a palette PNG that we're going to be using throughout our project. So now we have it in our project panel, we drag it down to the timeline and it shows up in our preview panel. So let's just make it a bit smaller, like that. And now we can see that our background color is the same color as the background color of the program. To change that, we go to composition, composition settings, and just go to background color. Use the eyedropper tool and let's make it this hmm, this nice red okay let's move this out of the way so it doesn't bother us the first thing we have to learn is how to manipulate objects in after effects we have our toolbar right here and in the toolbar we have something called a rectangle tool if we make a rectangle and let's make it a different color let's make it this purple one to manipulate it and to animate it further in our composition in our project we have to open up this panel right here and its transform panel and now we have all of these options with the stopwatch next to them so to animate it let's say we want to animate the scale of it we press the stopwatch and now we have a little diamond right here this diamond right here is called a keyframe a keyframe indicates what properties a certain object has an, at a certain time. So at zero frames, our rectangle is at its peak scale, so at its normal scale. Now, if we move our timeline, let's say a second and a half in, and let's say we make it a bit bigger, 250, and now we go back, we'll see that it slowly gets bigger throughout. We can do the same thing for position, for rotation, for opacity, and so on. To remove a certain animation, it's as easy as clicking the stopwatch once again. Okay, now let's delete this rectangle. Let's make something new. If we right click in our timeline and we click new, we have this panel right here. So we have text, solid, light, camera, null object, and so on. Let's go to solid. Click OK. And now we have a rectangle, but it's a bit different. The main difference is, is that we can mask it. So let's say we wanted to mask it. Let's first align it. Great. And now you have to click on the solid. And let's use a rectangle tool. And now if you make a little rectangle right here, and let's say we want to move these two corners to the right, we see that it makes it 
appear or disappear. Simple as that. Go to mask path and click on the stopwatch. And now let's move in a second and a half in, choose these two ends and put them all the way to the end. Just like that. And now if we go and if we press spacebar to start our preview, we can see that our rectangle appears in our composition. Great. Now, let me just change the rectangle a bit. Like that. Okay, now let's see how it looks. Great. To make it a bit more actionated, we'll press on our mask, choose one end, and just move it slightly to the right. So it looks a bit more sharp. Like that. Now we want to add text to our composition. We just go to Type Tool. We'll use Montserrat. Let's go with Bold. And let's make it, yeah, it's already the cyan color. So we put it in the middle and we start typing. Let's align it. And now let's say we want our letters to fade into our composition. So we go to our letters, open up transform, and let's say our starting opacity right about here is zero. But at the end of it, somewhere around here, uh, right here, it's 100. So let's see how that looks. Great. Now, if we want our keyframes to move a bit, move a bit slower, let's choose all of them, right click, and go to Keyframe Assistant. And in Keyframe Assistant, you have Easy Ease. Easy Ease accelerates and deaccelerates our animations. So it's going to make them look a bit more smooth. Just like that. Now we can see that our composition is a bit fast. We can choose all of our keyframes, press down Alt, and click and hold on the last keyframe in the project. So that will be this one. Click it, hold it, and pull it. And I'll pull all of the keyframes rationally and keep the same distance between them. Now, if we go back, we'll see that it's a bit slower. Just like that. Now, if we want to render our video, let's delete this palette as we no longer need it. Like that. Now to export our video, we'll go to File and go to Export, and we'll add it to our render queue. In our render queue, we won't change anything. We'll maybe change the output, that is okay. These always use best settings and just click Render. If you're on a lousier laptop like mine, it'll take some time, but on a quick laptop, it'll be done in no second. So, this was a simple tutorial how to make a minimalistic animation for your YouTube videos. If you're interested in more different creative disciplines, please consider checking out the Royal Courses channel, and you'll find many tutorials in Photoshop, Illustrator, and even coding. Thank you for watching and goodbye.